bitch. Say, nigga, I ain't stopping until you tell me to stop. Okay, first of all, look, it's going to just go. Like, I record 27 day. days 27 later. days, I'm still recording. That what you want? That what you got? All of it. That what you want? That what you got? Today I walk in here not as a resident, but as a chief. Chief resident. Yeah, chief it. resident Sorry. Dorian. Chiefy, chiefy, chief. What's that? You're going to do a cool guy walk? No, I have rocks in my shoe. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of rocks. You couldn't dump that shit out I gotta of stop time. taking that shortcut through the quarry. Anyway, the best thing about my new job is that I command a lot more respect. Chief resident in the house! Everybody say hey! Hey! Even though Councilman Donovan was handcuffed to that chair because once again he was flying high on crystal meth, his respect felt good. Honestly, it's the reason I keep voting for him. Have a good day. Try not to torture anyone so much that they take their own lives. I'll try. You know, you're not looking as processed and overly medicated as usual. That is so sweet. <laughs> it was the same old Dr. Cox and Jordan. The weird thing was, there was something underneath it. They were happy. We have some very exciting news. Don't tell me you and sweaty Teddy here are gonna finally have that commitment ceremony you've been dreaming about? <laughs> Perry, even if I went that way and believe me, there were nights in the service when it didn't sound so far-fetched, Teddy's hardly my type. I beg to take the lesson. Shit! <laughs> he didn't even Got hesitate. See, I think he's a psychiatrist, and I should be there when Miss Meyer's bandages get removed because her accident was traumatic enough. But with reconstructed facial surgery on top of that, in my professional opinion, yikes. Hey, if you are coming in, I just might go ahead and phone up my pool man and my architect so we can populate the room with just as many useless people as possible. Great, my mom's in town. Should I call her? <laughs> she doesn't waver. Like, I love her. That was good for you. Okay, Miss Myers, I'm gonna go ahead and get these bandages off and make sure the plastic surgeons have left your face just as beautiful as it always was. Oh, you're so nice. Are you married? Oh, he is as of this morning. Really? I thought he was divorced. No, child, the papers didn't go through. No, child, the papers didn't go through. I've did. got a son. I don't fantasize about Jordan dying as much anymore. And even though it wasn't planned, I'm actually pretty happy about the way this whole marriage thing has worked out. So, would you please stop your chirping and step away from my personal life? So that's what I like. So scary. Mm. So scary. Go ahead and have a look there. <sighs> you look fantastic, you do. Doctor? Really fantastic. Oh my god, you're here. Since Elliot and I are both chief residents, I'm trying not to make it all about she me. She crashed into her dashboard. You know, unless there's someone I could dunk. Hey, uh, you need to move your car, it's mighty to have a parking spot. Hey, you have a scooter, why do you even need a parking spot? It sends a message. Just because I lured her away from her perfect boyfriend and then dumped there doesn't mean my scooter Sasha needs to suffer. What are you doing? Just making an official. Chief. Go, Chief. Now, you can try as hard as you want. That is never going to stick. Hmm. Oh, and that's Co-Chief President Dorian over there. They just put that up there. You are quick. Co-Chief. <laughs> Damn it, I got an appendectomy again. Sweet. I get the do I. Duo, duo, duo. Do I didn't know Jay Dunostomy, man? What's wrong with you? Do so I know Jay Dunostomy? Trying to be a little more sensitive, okay? New bra, Janice? Because it's working. Besides, the only reason I'm getting all these great procedures is because nobody's died on me in like three months. Listen, man, you never have to apologize for being on a hot stick. I'm psyched for you, and I wouldn't take those procedures away even if I could. Sir, would you mind giving me the Do I know Jay Dunostomy instead of the time? Am I impressed by your moxie? You betcha. You. Am I going to reward it? Not a chance. Is that how he, it's literally, that's yeah, the question, say, question yeah. conversation. Ah, thank you, Barry. Hey! That's for Barry This Jr. thing working right here balling right now. I'm going to do a one-to-one -one mixing study. That's why she's the chief. You're the co-chief. Hey, shut hey, up, hey, hey. You shut up. Hey, 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 resident. Obviously, for your ex-wife, just the illusion of hair is important. Excuse me. So, you're saying it had nothing to do with my impotence? Dr. Cox, I was wondering if we could talk about Ms. Myers in my office. Yeah, I make it a point to never enter a shrink's office unless I'm planning on grossly overpaying somebody for telling me something that I already know. You are in a shrink's office. You're talking about the situation with your marriage. Something I already know. What do I owe? Will 10 bucks cover it? Oh, yeah. Are you going to hang on to that? 
Yeah, you know, I forgot my lunch money. It's kielbasa day at the cafeteria. Kielbasa! <laughs> kielbasa! Anyway, Miss Myers really values your opinion, but I don't think you're even trying to understand how she feels. Look, if I ever want your advice on one of my patients, I'll ask, but do not hold your breath, unless, of course, you can hold it for a really long, 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 long time. I can. I used to smoke. I love her! She's my favorite right now because she is not wavered at all by the foolishery yeah. that is. She's saying, I can't because I used to smoke, so I won't yeah, be able to hear it for a long, 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 Think about Todd. What do you mean she died? Yeah, but he's... I did everything I could. Even my attending thought I did great. He said, do I think you did great? Yes, I do. I couldn't help wonder if by taking that patient from Todd and giving her to Turk, I had toyed with fate. I know that look. You're wondering if you toyed with fate. How could you know that look? It's a brand new look. What do you think Todd would have done that I didn't? Doctor, her heart stopped. No! Okay, we've been spending way too much time together. <laughs> Guess what there, wifey? You can't be a pain in the ass if I don't have a phone. Oh, hi, sweetie. Save it. I was just going to tell you that I'm taking Jack and staying at my mother's for a few months. But who's going to be looking after him when you and your mother go out marauding for flesh? Thank you for making this so marauding much easier. Marauding for her. flesh. Jordan. Jordan, come on, Jordan. <laughs> Who's going to look after you? Are you okay? <clears throat> Let me go check on Miss Myers. Molly sent her down to surgery. Oh, wrong day, new chick. In a hospital, it's hard not to let your personal life affect your professional life. Forget about JD. You're just as good as the Todd. You got this. All right, people. I believe we're done here. Did you just sell your gown to the patient? Yeah, you did. Out, people have been referring to me as the co-chief resident. Well, it sounds like something you should take up with the chief resident. But I'm the chief resident. Look, Dr. Reed's check is made out to the chief resident, and, and mine's made out to the co-chief resident, but we both make the same amount. You're right. Dr. Reed, you should be making $10 more a month, and of course, Dr. Dorian, you should be making $10 less. I know it's not much, but it's largely to symbolize the difference in your levels. Cool, yeah. Cool, indeed. Cool, yeah. <laughs> I could spend all day worrying about I mean, what they, this happened, but I have more important to Hey, man. Because you can't have Look too much Look at my cheese. confiscator from one of the kids in pediatrics. Ow! Oh, not too hot? Yeah! Sorry. Land the mood! Okay, well look, we both might have had bad days, but I got just the thing that's going to cheer us up. Ah, dream come true, right? Do you really think I want this suit? I do. Not from you. Yes, I am. Oh, now I get it. You're just mad because I make more money than you. No, I'm mad because of that <laughs> surgery today. Shit, sound like damn plastic. You ex-husband and ex-wife, you may now do whatever the hell you want. I've never been this happy. <laughs> they just want me to have no you. chance of being normal. Mm -hmm. Thirsty, huh? Helps tears taste less bitter. Tears. Oh, tears. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. How are you guys going to celebrate your divorce? By not inviting you. Oh my God, dude, I doubted you for a second. Why are you so mad? Maybe I needed you to believe in me. I believe in you, baby. Yeah, but we're married. That doesn't count. Did you, uh... Yeah, she's been graveled. Nice work. Oh, 
that there's one second of doubt, okay? Since when do you care what anybody else thinks? I don't. I care what you think. Aww, bros! The day I met you, you treated me like I was the man, like I could accomplish everything. This is gonna sound lame. I got it! Being like that's one of the reasons I've gotten to where I am. Aww. Wow. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. In the end, every relationship needs maintenance. Hey Ted, you got the sun, man. You owe me money. <laughs> Whether it's the smallest gesture. I wanna uh, take a look at the guy in 302 and tell me whether or not you think he's really sick or just bonkers? Are you actually asking my opinion? Well, I could ignore it, but yeah, knock yourself out. What? Are you just um... picking up back where you left off? I'm a little nervous about surgery tomorrow. Ah, oh, kick ass. So are you guys gonna go out tonight? No, we're gonna stay in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the bedroom with all the straight people. Are your giblets warm like a Christmas ham? Same. The bottom line is that if you care about someone, it's pretty easy to make the sacrifice. Aww. Thanks, kitty. Good job. Everybody with the fucking gravel. Hi, yeah. after missing everybody walk through the gravel. No, they're putting gravel in their shoes, baby. Oh, they're putting them They're graveling now. Oh. All right, that was episode three of Scrubs. And that was a quick episode, man. It got in, it got out. Um, I mean, it was just a very entertaining episode right there. I mean, there was no really no hee-hee-ha-ha's up in there or, or any any shockers. But it was, just a, it was just a cruising episode, and I had a good time watching it. So I can't wait to see what they got next. Um, my highlight of the episode is definitely the JD and Turk moment. I thought it was so great seeing Turk being like, uh, since we've been friends, you've always hyped me up, so the one time that you had doubt in me, like, really shook me. I thought that was just a very sweet, uh, moment for the two of them, which speaks to the, you know, the bromance, so to speak, of their relationship. I love that so much. I mean, I thought the, the leather, you know, uh, JD finally having the money to get them the suits they always wanted was funny. The squeaking, the effects of that was yeah. all good, too. And I also thought it was great with, um... Cox and Jordan as far as like realizing like what you love doesn't have to be what everybody else understands. You guys are happy being divorced. You guys are comfortable with that. You feel less pressure. Just get back to that moment again. And I thought um, the, the, the psychiatrist, I don't know her actual name in the show again right now. I'm blinking on that. She is a breath of fresh air for the show. I think she's such a great added element to the show. Like, she she recognizes when people are trying to, like, clown her. And she, like, has such great presence in those moments to, like, I know exactly who I am. Like, you're not going to make me feel bad or embarrassed about anything that I'm doing. But I drop bars and I'll out. Uh, you will recognize what I have and my perspective is going to help you do better, which is what happened with Cox. I thought that's so great. I really yeah. like the element that she brings to the show. So I thought it was another great episode and looking forward to the next one. All right. Well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Screw Up Season 4, Episode 3. And until next time, people, peace.